it's starting to settle down, I think. Thank you for coming. It's comforting to have someone with me. Why do I have to face this alone? Why am I the one? I can't run around like I did as a child anymore. Because my legs and heart won't even let me. All that's left is to draw my sheets around me and count the beats of my heart until they stop forever. Why is this only happening to me? <laughs> of course not. No one could. I don't even know. I mean, I understand the reason I'm dying, but what even is the meaning of it? There isn't any meaning to life that I can find, so perhaps I'm not missing all that much. I wish I could run away, but if my body were capable of that, I wouldn't be here anyway. No matter what I do, my body is there to remind me I'm going to die. Me. <coughs> Please don't leave just yet. It's almost too much for me if I'm alone. <coughs> yes, you're right. But I'd still like to talk for just a little longer. I'm feeling a little better now. Thank you. It's starting to get dark. Don't worry, I'll be fine now. I hope I can see you again soon.
roses aren't really my thing. Maybe... Gerberas? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm redecorating my room and was thinking of getting some flowers to go with it. I think I'll go with the Gerberas. What color do you think I should get? Do you think so? I like pink too. I guess we have the same taste, huh? Then it's decided. I'll get these. Hmm. Come to think of it, Gerberas by themselves might be a little plain. What other flowers do you think would look nice? Oh, wait, you've never seen my room, have you? <laughs> well then why am I even asking you? <laughs> but it's the truth. To be honest, any flowers would be fine if they were from you. Just kidding. <laughs> What should I get? I'm actually a pretty indecisive person. Hmm. A ranunculus wouldn't be bad either. Wonderful. Very well then. Oh my! Come to think of it. By all means. I 
think of it. By all means. Very well. Thanks for coming. You got everything you need? You made up your mind. You got everything you need? Come again, yeah? Welcome. Of course. I never felt like creating equipment. What would you like? So, what will it be? So, so, what will it be? So, you got it. What will it be? So, what will it be? I've got some good stuff in stock. Take your time browsing. You like that? What have you decided? We have a deal. Is that all you need? Hope to see you soon. You'll like the new stuff we got in stock. Take a look around, yeah? Which ones? Thanks for coming. You got everything you need? Thanks! Good day. Here are my rec- Let's hear the results. Yeah. 
you think that about does it? You think you can see this through to the end? Good answer. Let's just hope you can maintain that enthusiasm. Once you start something, you gotta see it through to the end. I only dabbled in this back when I was a kid, but it'll probably turn out fine. When I was still at the orphanage, I learned a bunch of stuff with Aki. I'm talking too much. Let's get back to work. That should do it. This kind of work is usually easier with more people. Come help out again when you've got the time. Let's head back now, and wash your hands after handling all that soil. It looks like Chidori still ain't back yet. I get it's her own fault for running off on her own, but she's still one of us, you know? We gotta help her somehow. Don't be impatient, Jin. If she hasn't yet freed herself, that must mean her evoker was taken. Our first objective must be to retrieve it. It would mean nothing to free Chidori without it. For us, our persona is as precious as our very lives. We should wait for an opportunity. They've found their own navigator, their own set of eyes. Without Chidori, we'd only be playing into their hands. Yeah, you're right, Takaya. Sorry I lost my cool there for a second. But what are we gonna do? They took down that shadow during the last full moon like it was nothing. If they got someone who can predict our moves, it'll be hard to catch them off guard. <sighs> yes, that's true. By the way, what is that thing? It looks like some kind of clunky evoker. This is one of the first evokers ever developed. I suppose you could call it a prototype. Oh, that's right. You've never seen this before, have you, Jin? <laughs> this was truly a terrible piece of work. In exchange for drawing out the full extent of a persona's latent power, the cost is that they become exceedingly difficult to control. Especially for those who had their power forced upon them, like ourselves. To a persona that has lost control, the user is but a shackle. In those days, it was more commonplace to be killed by our own personas than by the shadows. This was the result of one such killing. I am a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. So, that's why you don't use an evoker? Hardly. The real reason is far more practical. I don't use one because I have no need. I don't require something as inelegant as a tool to prove my resolve. You really are something special, Takaya. Yet, there is always someone out there who is even greater. Such as... One who can wield multiple personas. Ah, am I feeling attachment for someone? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Such a thought is beneath me.
What do you think, Yamagishi? Do you sense anything? No. Huh. By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't trying to keep you hostage. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Shidori? You're back again. Why are you so hung up on her, Junpei? Did she say anything? Not a word. Let me talk to her. Iori, you're getting really emotionally invested in this. Is everything all right? Well, I know she attacked me. But I don't know. I, I just can't get her out of my head. Please, let me do this. Call for desperate measures, I suppose. All right, see if you can get through to her. Got it. You okay? <sighs> I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. Wow, you're still drawing pictures? Even in the hospital? You really do like to draw, huh? It doesn't matter. She spoke to him. Only I can understand my drawings. Wait, Chidori, your arm, it's bleeding. Oh, not again. Yamagishi, get the doctor. All right. What happened? Why are you bleeding? She does it to herself. I thought I took all the sharp objects in here. She did this to herself? Apparently we can't leave her unattended for even a moment. But at the very least, she seems to heal at an astonishing rate. Let, let go of me! Then, that cut on your hand back at the station, you did that to yourself? I never asked for you to worry about me. You are the one who jumped to conclusions. I want you to stop. You can't be doing that. I'm not just saying this because I'm worried about you. I don't want to see you hurting yourself. All right? The doctor will be here soon. You should head back. Right. So, you seem to have found your voice. a request? Very well.
Hey, you can come down now. I... I can't get down. I... it's too high. I shouldn't have climbed up here. The dog in the jungle gym was so scary. I thought I was gonna die. Thanks for helping me, mister. Koromaru! And I brought them here. I knew where to find Koromaru all along. I heard from the priest. He said Koromaru would be at the shrine gate, looking after all the people in town. So even though he found a new spot, he's still protecting us? I knew it! Koromaru's new owner? Is there really a difference? <laughs> well, as long as he's happy. Uh-oh, you better get home soon. Whoa, you're right! Okay, see you guys later! so suddenly you aren't worried about me are you if so thank you but I'm totally fine I'll do that you're really caring senpai thanks for going out of your way to check on me I'll do my best not to worry you well then good night uh, I'm gonna think of it I haven't had dinner yet. I should probably eat something. <sighs> um, Senpai? You wouldn't happen to be hungry, would you? Welcome! Take any open seat. <sighs> He's not here. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Sorry for asking you to go out all of a sudden. I just wanted someone to come with me. It's a little intimidating going to get food by myself. People tend to stare when they see an elementary school kid like me out on his own. Your order? Two specials coming right up. Seems like that's the thing to get, huh? Thanks for ordering. So, I saw some people from our dorm stop by here a while back. Like, Sonata-san, and that guy who recently joined. Aragaki-san. Do you come here with them too? What kinds of things do you talk about? Oh, sorry for asking something so weird. I just thought I should know a bit more about everyone, since we'll be fighting together from now on. But, it's good either way, because I've always wanted to have a proper chat with you. Everyone in the dorm is amazing, but you're on a completely different level. I can't believe how many personas you're able to use. Here you are! Ikutsuki-san and Mitsuru-san said that each person normally has only one persona, and that it doesn't change. That means... what I saw back then... us, really. Uh, 
It's nothing. Sorry. Shall we eat? Oh, I finished all the soup, too. I'm stuffed. Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, the melancholy of Swallow, will air this winter as a TV special. Huh? Wow! A spinoff with Swallow as the main character! I gotta make sure I record that! Yeah! I watch it every week without fail! But this TV special is big news! Swallow doesn't usually make much of an impression, but there's a theory that he's actually stronger than Hawk! I, uh, heard that from a friend. TV shows like that seem to be popular in my class. I only watch them so I have something to talk about. <laughs> anyway, it's been a while since I've enjoyed a meal like this. I guess it's because I'm eating with you. You're really easy to talk to. And the ramen was delicious. Maybe next time we can... <sighs> um, that's nothing. It's getting late. We should start heading back. It was delicious. No, this food was not delicious. Don't let yourself think like that. Hey, Amara! You on your way home? <laughs> Us too. We just finished eating dinner. Oh, are you from the same class, Amara-kun? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Oh yeah, Amara! You gotta join next month's soccer tournament. We've all been waiting for you, you know? We can even practice together after school. I'll have to pass. I'm not even sure if I could make it next month. Aw, oh, come on. We can't win without you. You're better than all of us. You can't pressure someone like that. Can't you see you're bothering him? I'm sure Amadakun has a lot going on. Isn't that right? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm sorry. Please excuse us. You should hurry home too, amata -kun. Home. Come on, let's get going. Your grandma is waiting for us. Bye, Mom! If Amata doesn't <sighs> sorry about us, that. we're gonna <sighs> get totally free. No, it's not that. I just have enough to do. The second semester has already started, and we have to go to Tartarus at night. I know we'll be going through a lot from now on, so I decided to not make any promises. More importantly, sorry for keeping you out so late. Let's make our way back to the door.
Orimaru. I'm so glad to see you again. I was worried when I didn't see you at the Shrine Gate. But here you are, looking better than ever. <laughs> and so well dressed. You've become quite the fashionista, haven't you? Oh, good boy. Good boy. Do you live in the store? Is Koromaru in good hands here? Oh, I thought so. By we, I take it you mean everyone in the storm looks after him. I'm glad you found somewhere you can relax again. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. You can live wherever you choose. I have to get going. Take care now, the both of you. What's wrong, Koromaru-san? I see. So that's what's troubling you. That woman from earlier, she offered to take Koromaru-san in at one point. But at the time, he still had unfinished business to attend to. Of course, she is unaware of that fact. So in all likelihood, she may still carry the wrong impression about Koromaru-san's feelings. Hmm. Oh, it's you again. Is I Would this happen to be about Koromaru? Worry, I understand. Sometimes you don't even need words, right? He's such a sweet, smart boy, isn't he? So really, I'm all right. But thank you for being so thoughtful. The way he's by your side, he looks just like he did when he was with the priest. He must really trust you from the bottom of his heart. Please, take good care of Koromaru. and blessed with so many wonderful friends. Be sure to cherish them, okay? You'll be at that dorm from now on, won't you? <laughs> well, I'll have to visit you again then.
attention, please. So that's why. Chitarita. Don't call me that. <laughs> Come on, lighten up. Here, I brought you a new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. I don't remember asking you to do that, Junpei. <laughs> you finally called me by my name. I wasn't sure if you'd ever say it again. She finally started talking, but she hasn't said anything useful so far. Well, it's a start. More of a response than we got from her. So, why are you here? <laughs> Chidori? What's wrong? What is that? There's something right there! An enemy? Wrong! Move! <gasps> Shinori! Relax. Her persona just went berserk. It happens. It happens? Weren't you guys watching? You could see her persona strangling her for a second. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants. To keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? Wait. Do you know something about Strega? Some things you only pick up stepping off the straight and narrow. I'll give the duck the meds I have. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait! Hey! Uh, I... Junpei? Thank God. I thought you were gonna die. What do you mean? Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you talking about? Dying just means you won't wake up tomorrow. That's all. What the hell are you saying? You don't really mean that, do you? Junpei? I don't want that. You hear me, Chidori? I don't want you to die. Junpei. It doesn't matter if you're not afraid. It's not the point. I don't want to have to live in a world without you. <laughs> you're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, wait! Shinji! <sighs> what the hell's going on? Why did you have those suppressants? <sighs> I've heard about what they do. They're taken to rein in a persona when the user can't control it. But the side effects... <sighs> You're not taking them, are you? <sighs> Answer me! We don't have to tell you shit. Why are you always like this? Save it. I've heard it all before. You think I'm wasting my power. 
You can't stand the sight of someone so half-assed, right? I'm sick of your damn preaching. <sighs> Shit. You don't understand at all. You should already know. Ten years ago, when the orphanage burned down, I couldn't save my sister. Back then, I wasn't strong enough to get past the adults holding me back to even try. <sighs> That's why I try so hard. I thought you felt the same way. We promised each other to become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why? Why'd you start taking those drugs without telling me? I'm back in the fight now. I have no reason to suppress my persona anymore. So just let it go. Damn it. <laughs> and the side effects. Hmm. There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. I gotta take responsibility. What do you mean? Listen. Quit worrying about me. Just do what you think is right. Got that? Shinji. a request? Wonderful. Marvelous. A report of success. I will await a report of success. By all means. My powerful persona, a pretty purple. Please paint my powerful. Pe hmm, this is harder than I thought. I will await a report of success. Come to think of it. Await a report of success. Oh, I will await a report of success. Very well.
request. Let's hear the res- Is that so? Very well. <laughs> We've got some new stuff. Take your time, bros. You made up your mind. That's all you want. Thanks for coming. You gotta tell me. You got everything you come again, yeah? Yes. Which one? You've come at a good time. There are some new items you can create. You gotta tell no. I never feel like. It's been much more pleasant around here recently, and on Port Island in particular. Well, I guess. What would you like? What would you like? So, what will it be? So, what will it be? Go on, look around. Go on, look around. Is that all you need? Hope to see you soon. 
no different. Why do you want to know? Sorry, I didn't mean to poke fun at you. Remember what I told you before? How oh, my mom and I aren't very close? Well, if you ask me what kind of parent she is, I'd say a terrible one. She wasn't always like that, though. After what happened to Dad, she totally changed. She's probably living with one of her boyfriends somewhere. Honestly, I'd rather not know. Anyway, I'm done talking about this, okay? Um, could we keep this between you and me? You're the only one I've told. Sorry, I'm not in the mood for karaoke anymore. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey.
fire every day. We inspire to never expire. Yeah. But we will chill today. Let me ride the world tomorrow. Yeah. So. My request. Wonderful. House. Very well then. Wonderful. Oh my! You have my thanks. Please paint my powerful persona a pretty purple. Please paint my powerful. Pe hmm. This is harder than I thought. Very well. Good day. Here are my requests. Have you gotten used to battling with a persona? Oh, hey. 
Isaiah. just to get through the day. Yeah, nothing like those punks I see running around town these days. <laughs> I'd say the same for my son, though. Always being taken in by the police for questioning. It's disgraceful. <laughs> I'm gonna remember your face, kid. Next time you come in here, I'm gonna have you thrown out. Got it? <laughs>
I'm looking to... How may I assist you? Regis, will you register it to the computer? All registered. This is your progress so far. So you'll be summoning this very well. It's yours. Are you in... Please choose the personas you would like to fuse. This one is somewhat beneath you. Have you all the elements you need? What kind of persona do you desire? Are you finished? We look... to the velvet room. Please take a look. This persona, is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. This is your progress. I please choose the personas you would like to fuse. Are you finished? We look... Same thing last time. Well, now we mean it. Well, how is it? Really? I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you. You know how I said I was having trouble with cooking? Well, I decided to try and find a recipe that even I couldn't mess up. And after a lot of consideration, I thought maybe making rice balls is something I could handle. But then I got really absorbed in how simple they are to make. And still so hard to master. I made some rice balls today in home economics class too. I know it's a little silly to make something so basic in high school, but it was all I could manage. But then, everyone in the class told me they were really good, though. Anyways, I've been really looking forward to have you try one. I wanted you to see how much progress I've made. Because I don't think I could have made it this far without you. Thanks. I know I've said this before, but when I'm with you and the rest of the team, I'm able to see things more positively. And I think the most important thing is the feeling of wanting to make others happy. That might be the reason why I made such good rice balls. Because I was thinking about who was going to eat them. Of course! Just 
let me know anytime you want some. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Really. Turns out, there's actually a trick to making good rice balls. The first thing to note is while you're washing the rice... to inform you that more than one this time, I believe. Please swiftly, this time in particular, I believe this human is an acquaintance of yours. Goodbye now. is gonna be here today, but they said we still can't give you back your evoker. I wasn't expecting them to. That's why I'm in here in the first place. Oh yeah, uh, how's that cut doing? Ah, right. Probably healed already, huh? So, uh, you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh, not really. Huh, your flower's well dead. He must have got to him. Oh, I know. Why don't I go buy you some fresh ones? What's your favorite kind of... Hey, what's wrong? <sighs> huh? Flowers? Yeah, those are cut flowers, right? Oh, how'd you do that? 
I gave them a little bit of my energy. I didn't know your healing powers could do stuff like that. It's like a miracle or something. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? This is just another form they can take. Well, yeah, I guess. But that's about all I've got going for me. Without this power, I'd be a nobody. I just talk a big game, pretending like I'm some kind of hero. But in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for. In fact, I don't even really have a good reason to live. A good reason to live? Good reason. When I was a kid, I had this silly dream. A dream? I used to want to grow up to be a pro baseball player. Pretty stupid, huh? But I guess that's part of being a kid. I wouldn't really know. I don't remember much from my childhood. I only remember one thing. Being surrounded by white. Everything was white. Hmm. I hate hospitals. Oh, you do. Um, sorry. But you've been coming to see me here, so I don't mind as much this time. Chidori. Did you mean it? Then I'll come to see you every day. for what they've done for me. But only knowing how to make rice balls isn't going to cut it. I told myself I needed to do something more, but then I started to doubt myself again. That's when I thought of you. So what I'm saying is, um, I'd like you to help me for just a bit longer. And I'd really appreciate it if you could keep giving me your advice. I promise I'm going to do the best I can. So can I count on you? I just want to thank everyone for helping me find my place in the world. I know I don't seem very reliable, but I want to make myself a useful member of the team. Thank you. <laughs> it feels so reassuring to have your support. More than anything, though, I want to keep learning. For your sake, too. I'd like to be able to help you with more than just fighting. Um, I was wondering, you don't think I'm... I'm overdoing it, right? Sorry, I guess I'm the only one who can answer that. I'm going to head back now. No 
but in this world, so stop looking at me like that and sit down, kid. So tell me, is it that fun hanging out with an old monk whose own wife and kid left him? How come you're always alone when I see you? Don't you got any friends? Being alone or you got problems. In any case, well said. No hesitation whatsoever. Don't worry if you don't got any friends. Most of life's troubles come from human relationships anyway. Let's define a friend as someone you hold dear. The way I see it, no one in this world ever really cares for others. People always want something out of a relationship. They only really love themselves. You don't call someone who doesn't like you your friend, do you? No, because you know you won't get nothing from them. Which means in this world, there's no one you can truly hold dear. At the end of the lonely road of love, kid, you're the only one left standing there. But you see those gals over there? The ones on the dance floor? You can bring one of them over here. I'll be your friend in return, eh? Huh? What do you think? I know you can do it. Too tired to go talk to him, huh? <laughs> You look like you're gonna doze off any second now. Go home for now, kid. Besides, I know you're gonna come again anyway. Even if I tell you not to. been a while. Three seasons have passed since we met. Time goes by so quickly, and in that time, many things change. But at the same time, some things in this world will always remain the same. Don't you agree? I see. If that's what you say, then it must be true. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories, like that tower, for one. It's been on my mind a lot lately. I wonder, will our relationship stay the same, or will it evolve? <laughs> no matter what the future holds, you and I will always be friends. That much is certain. I'll see you again, but until then, good night. Chilling on my bed, I'm not in my biz. 